In this second of our logarithm tutorials, we're going to deal with the with the idea of solving equations where we might need to use logarithms to help us. We've considered what a logarithm is, it's an index, and we've considered some of the simple rules of logarithms that can help us along the way. And we are now going to look at one or two equations that we can solve with the help of logarithms. So what is a logarithm? It was very much like an index, and we can switch between the two. The rules of logarithms, simple rules to enable us to simplify expressions and solving equations. So for example, most people would know that 5 squared equals 25. Um, and so if asked the simple equation 5 to the power x equals 25, they would fairly quickly tell you that the x had to be 2. However, what happens if we are faced with the question 5 to the power x equals 20? Now I know that 5 to the power 1 equals 5, and I know that 5 to the power 2 equals 25. So I can be reasonably assured that the answer I'm looking for is between 1 and 2, but certainly not an easy question to answer unless I can use some sort of technique to solve this equation technique that we use with these equations is to take logarithms. Now the base of the logarithm, if I'm going to at any point put this in my calculator then I will find a key on my calculator log log and that will be base 10. The 10 probably isn't there but that will be a logarithm to base 10 on my calculator. I can use any log base I choose here. Um, I'm going to use logarithms base 10 so that I can use my calculator easily if the time comes or the need is there. Now rules of logarithms will quickly let me write for this expression x multiplied by the logarithm of 5 and I shall leave that is logarithm of 20. Log of 5 and log of 20 are two simple numbers and therefore I can divide both sides by the logarithm of 5 and I can then put this in my calculator and I can come up with an answer. Um, worth trying this to make sure you, you have the calculator and the calculator button sorted but you should come up with an answer of 1.861 and on it will go. No surprise here, we knew it was between 1 and 2. It's worth taking that number and putting it back into this original equation 5 to the power 1.861 and see if you come close to 20. It might also answer the question about how many decimal places you should be writing here. I think if you use 1.861 you will get close but not too close to 20. You might want to include one or two more decimal places there for a slightly more accurate answer. So there we go. Taking a logarithm of both sides in order to deal with an equation that has an index in. Let me just put that to one side and deal with one more slightly more awkward equation. For example, 6 to the power x plus 2 is equal to 7 to the power x. Not even that easy to imagine an estimate to this particular equation. I'm going to use a very similar idea. I am going to take a logarithm of both sides of this equation. By doing this I know that I can use my rule of logarithms that allows me to write that index as a multiplier. Again I'm using logarithms to base 10 here. Although I'm not writing the 10 in, I'm going to use my calculator key which is base 10 any base would do, but because it's on my calculator, I'm going to use log to base 10. Now, I've used that rule of logarithms to bring the indices as multipliers. I'm not out of the woods here. I've still got quite a complicated expression, and I've got x's that appear 
on both sides. Remember log 6 and log 7 are simply numbers. They may be numbers with lots and lots of decimals, long irrational numbers, but I'm, I'm not going to put the decimals in. I'm going to just leave them as log 6 and log 7. Um, that saves me having to round any numbers at this point. I'm going to multiply out this bracket, so x multiplied by the logarithm of 6, and 2 multiplied by the logarithm of 6, and leave this as it sits. I then want to collect terms that I see x part of. Now that has an x as part of it. I've got this x log 6 over here. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. I'm going to do that so that I can then factorize this log 7, just a number remember, and log 6 once again, just a number. 2 log 6, 2 times whatever log 6 is. And then I'm going to divide both sides by this factor here, this log 7 minus log 6. And 2 log 6 divided by that whole bracket there, divide both sides to give me log 7 minus log 6. And you might want to put this into your calculator and see how well it answers this original question as a check. You may also wish to think about why this expression here could be written as log of 36 divided by log of 7 over 6. This will once again need to go into my calculator to get an answer. But if I wish to leave this as a logarithm rather than give the decimal, I would probably write this simpler version, and I shall leave you to work out how that comes about. We will look at a change of base and some slightly more awkward equations in the third of the tutorials for logarithms, but for the moment we shall leave the idea of solving Equations, index equations of the type 5 to the power x equals 20 as something that we can use logarithms to solve.